All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there that the full comes earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with another quick lesson through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And uh, I just want to give this lesson as a warning. To the brothers and a few sisters that, you know, that listen to the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? Uh, we're living in a time now where, um, you know, everything's turning up, okay? Esau Edom's turning up, you know, the men of the Lord are turning up. Yahweh Bashim Shai is turning up, doing things on the earth. So uh, with that comes what? That sifting or that uh, elimination process, so to speak, of men all right, is, uh, is heightening. Okay, and that's Satan looking to uh, remove you from the faith. Okay, all right. So I just want to get this because Lord Yahweh Shai spoke about this. Okay, you know, to to the uh, disciples, which later became apostles, and this applies to us too. Lord's will be a part of the elect. So this is the book of Luke twenty two and thirty one. He says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, talk about Peter. Okay, the head of the church. All right, and this red letter. So Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, behold. Satan have desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. So Satan, okay, spiritual demon Satan, okay, and his minions is looking to sift us, okay? All right, now let's get this word sift. All right, let's see. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this uh, same scripture in the NLT and see what um, what we get. Uh, and 31 slot here. Luke 22 and 31. See what it says in the NLT. It says, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift each of you like wheat. All right. So what? You know, Satan, because he can say, remember, Satan has to get permission, you know, from the Heavenly Father to test you to see if, he, if you're going to uh, fail. Okay, you know, to see if you're going to denounce the Lord and all that. So Satan is testing brothers, doing things, you know, uh, trying to pull and tuck brothers out of the truth. All right. To sift you, man. All right. To see if you're going to be a true servant of Yahweh by Shema or Shai or not. Okay. Satan is right now in the heavens. The demons are in the heavens asking the Lord, can they test you with that? Can they test you with this? And the Lord is sanctioning things, man. Okay. You know, now it's up to us in the spirit. You know, to pray and, and know that and believe that Yahweh Bashim Shah, Lord Yahweh Shah is praying for us, man. Because as you read on in that uh, same chapter, verse uh, 32, it says, But I have prayed for thee that, that thy faith fall not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Okay. So what, man? So not only that, what? We know that Lord Yahweh Shah is praying for us. Lord's will be a part of the elect. But when we're converted, what? Strengthen the brotherhood. So brothers are doing videos, doing sit-down lessons, calling up brothers whenever we can, being brotherly to uplift each other and strengthen each other because we know Satan is out here to devour you, okay? All right? Satan walk to and fro on the earth seeking who he may devour Okay, all right. So what? Satan's looking to sift you, to devour you, man. So this is why you gotta stay ten toes down. All right. Scripture talk about what? Be diligent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's skip that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Calling. It's lucky. There we go. Yeah, this is Second Peter's uh, one and ten. It says, "Therefore, the rather, brethren, all right. So we rather you do this, okay, of all things, man, because we know that Satan's here to sift you, 
or try to sift you, okay? Try to get you to fall away from the faith. It says, give diligence, okay? What is diligence, okay? What, what is being diligent? Let's get that word diligent. Uh, diligent, okay? It says what? It says, diligent is an adjective. It says, constant in effort to achieve what is undertaken. So you got to have a constant mind frame to achieve better in this truth, the next level, okay? It says, uh, to present, to be careful, to be attentive. It says, to, to single out, uh, a value, a uh, highly esteemed, to prize, to love. Okay, when you're diligent, you love that thing, man. It says, to inspire to, to be content, to be content, be content with, appreciate, all right, to pick out. All right, so what? So what? Yahweh Bashim is saying to do all these things. Be diligent. Be you know have this as your first love, as the scriptures say. You know, esteem this high, man. Show this truth to be what uh, a value to be highly of itself, man. Okay, you know, this is what your eye should be single towards, as the scriptures say. Man. Okay, so now we got that. It says where uh Second Peter's on one and ten. It says wherefore the rather brethren. Give diligence, being diligent, constant, to make thy calling and election sure. Because we're all called, okay, the nation, the men of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, or in the Israelite foreigners, okay, we're called to this truth, but Lord's will be a part of the election, okay, that we were called and elected to make it out of here, okay? It says, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, okay? To have that faith that, man, if nobody else is doing this, so I got to be a man of the Lord. You know, it says, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay? Ye shall never fall out the truth. Ye shall never fall in faith. Okay? Ye shall never fall in fear of the Lord. All right? If you do these things, man, being diligent in the scriptures, man. All right? Because if you're not, that's when Satan starts to get in your mind. What they say, an idle mind is the is the devil's playground. Okay? You know, so what now that that uh, um, that demon or Satan, OK, can af effectively sift you, man. And you don't want that to happen. Lord's will be part of the elect. That's not going to happen with the elect. All right. Because no one is going to pluck out the uh, the elect out of the Lord's hand. Get that. Uh, she's lucky. It says, um, yep. Um, I'm reading this in, um, this is a uh, John 10 20 and 29. It says, and get, and I give unto you. Unto them eternal life. Okay, so the Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, he's gonna give his elect eternal life. It says, and they shall not perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So what? You can't get rid of the elect of the nation of Israel. They're gonna be ten toes down for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, no matter what. Okay. All right. Satan's gonna try to sift them. And it's not going to work because they're going to be diligent in making their calling election short. Okay. Lord Yahweh Shah is praying for them. So they're getting better and better. They're praying to the Lord for whatever they need in the spirit to become a better man in this truth. Okay. It says, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. It says, my father, which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out. Out of my father's hand. So that's what we want, man. We want to be uh, the ones that were, you know, given to Lord Yahweh Shai in the beginning, man. Okay. You know, and stuff, man. And that only happens when, when you're diligent to make your calling action sure. And that's what the elect are doing right now. Okay. All right. So this is why Lord's will be, we say Lord's will be a part of the elect because we want to make that number, you know, that 144,000 men, prophets, and one third. Men, women, children who believe. We want to be a part of that number that's going to be delivered out of this place, America, man. Because if you're, if you're lackluster and you're slug, 
sluggard and not diligent, uh, hey man, you're gonna be destroyed. Okay, you know. All right, but if you're uh, constant and pushing this truth, the Lord's gonna look out for you. No man can pluck you out of his hand. Okay. And I ended off on this one. This book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse nineteen and twenty. All right, because it comes down to this: outside the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, it comes to this. Okay, it says what? If you be willing and obedient, if you're willing to do something, man, you're earning. You're you you can't wait to do it. You're willing. Okay, it says if you be willing and obedient, what obedient to where the Lord wants us to live as Israelites, man. Okay, on this current earth right now. All right, how are we conducting ourselves throughout the day to day processes or throughout the day to day uh, 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 things we go to, man? Okay, it says if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land, and the good of the land we want to take part of is the kingdom of heaven. Okay, that's what brothers want. And if you don't want that, man, there's something wrong with you, man. Okay? You know? But it's been showing that what? The elected nation of Israel, they want to get the hell up out of here. And they want to be saved by our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says what? But if you refuse and rebel, which rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, it says, Ye shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. And who's the mouthpiece of Yahweh by Shema Shai? The men of the Lord. Okay? So you got to have men of the Lord actually giving people their judgments out here. You know, by telling them the judgment, because why those individuals of the nation of Israel denied Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man, okay? You know, so look, man, hey, Satan is looking to sift us, you know, but we got to stay prayed up to Yahweh by Shemuel Shai that we don't get caught up in these things. Stay rooted, keep the faith, keep on pushing, man, okay? So with that, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. I had to give double honors to my apostles and elders. A great millstone who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shall I want to tell the brothers out there that the four of the earth, the Lord, and the righteousness, and the sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shall I want.